morning, everyone. My name is Lori Bradner, and I'm with the Florida Aviation Network. We are here for the 42nd annual Sun and Fun right here in Lakeland, Florida, broadcasting live from the Aerospace Center of Excellence. And I am so honored today. It has been a great Saturday to have Mr. Billy Henderson. Mr. Henderson, what an honor to well, have you thank here you today. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. It's been a life of pleasure being with the folks and volunteers at Sun and Fun. Well, and you know what? We are, this is just an honor for me to be sitting here holding your hand. And I must tell everyone I got a kiss, which was fabulous. And tell us a little bit about your dream because this was Sun and Fun as we know it, which has been around for 42 years was your dream and you started this can you tell us and tell everyone out there where this all started billy where how yeah. did this start these young folks will know but when i was six years old my dad drove me to the airport and uh over in auburndale florida just east of here and the guy there was flying an old biplane and took me up for a ride all over Winter Haven and it inspired me forever. Wow. And years later, a friend of mine restored one of them and called and said, I hear you got your own airplane and I'd restored two or three airplanes for a hobby and built them and learned to fly. So he gave me the keys and let me fly the antique biplane and I flew it all over Polk County and downtown Lakeland. Okay. And names did tilt me, still around. Awesome. And so it was a great experience, but I met wonderful people all over the world, and my wife got into aviation. I even taught her how to fly. You did? Yeah, she could fly. She didn't like all that paperwork, but she okay. wanted to know if I had a heart attack, she could take me home. Okay. <laughs> Safety first. That's yeah. what we do at the Florida Aviation Network. Yeah. She wanted to be safe. Yeah, and we flew all over the United States and helped start aviation conventions, even up part of Alaska and all over the West Coast, and California, and all over Texas. We've been all over the world helping start aviation conventions. Mr. Henderson, you're a member of the EAA as well. How long have you been a member? When when well, did you Well, I'm get a life that? member. Right. And uh, the, him and his wife came down and helped us start Sun and Fun, and I ended up on his board of directors 51 years in Oshkosh. guys. And really? Adair and I went up there and helped them build that. Yeah. Wow. So we had a great life and met a lot of wonderful people. Wonder Woman was one of my favorite, though I was prejudiced. She used to come here and ride around with me in the golf yeah. cart to look at all the airplanes. <laughs> and she gave me her airplane, and she kept saying, I can't find it. I said, Linda, it was invisible. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the guys put tire marks and wheel chocks and ropes out there, and I went by and said, Linda, it's parked right there. And she said, it didn't get here. <laughs> that is awesome. We had a lot of wonderful people. And the first female wing walker in America was Jessie Woods. Okay. And she came and visited with me, and she wanted to do something for the women to help build a women's building back there, ladies' building. And Jesse walked up and down the street bagging money and finally built the OX5 bill and gave it to me. And Jesse and I were great friends. And first time I met her, a friend of mine flew in here in a steerman and she's sitting on the top wing waving. I'm here. Well, <laughs> well that's, that makes quite an entrance, uh, doesn't it? <laughs> she wanted to meet me, so she flew in here. That yes. little airplane on the camera over at Alan Wise over in Orlando built and brought it over here to show it off. Okay. My whole family helped build the place, so. Now, I understand that you are here, your son is here, and when we were getting ready and getting the mic on you, that handsome man walked by, and yeah. he's here with you today? Is your yeah. family here with you? Well, they finally got them all invited back out, but they all helped me at Ice Guys for years, too. Okay. And we grew up here in Lakeland. I moved here in 36. Okay. In the... George Jenkins, the founder of Public Supermarket, was a friend of mine since I was six. He even came out and gave me a building or two out there. Awesome. He's an old friend. I think he might have passed away by now, but I've known him since I was six years old. Okay. But I met a lot of wonderful people. What yeah. do you, Mr. Henderson, what do you think the heart, what is the heart and soul of Sun and Fun? People. Okay. That's what I told John Lights when he came on board last year. Remember, airplanes are a common interest, but the event's about people. 
Right. I think you said airplanes just get the people here, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and it's a creative thing to get people creative and gives them a new direction other than driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> and it's more fun, isn't it? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Now, what do you think, Mr. Henderson? And I believe that you have, um, we were talking in the briefing, you've got an aircraft that's hanging here in the Aerospace Center of Discovery, don't you? Uh, do, can you tell us a little I bit about these? I gave one to the school that's sitting over there in the hangar. I named it after my wife. You gave it there. to the school, yes. Because yeah, uh, she helped me build this place. My whole family, my son even lived out here on the airport with the city's permission for 10 years and helped maintain all the grounds for me. Amazing. What do you think, Mr. Henderson, about um, the expansion? Talk to me a little bit about where you started and as we you We started down on the north side with a weekend convention and I met people from all over the world showed up over there. First two was con from Canada, Ontario, okay. and they were great friends. We they love our Canadian in. friends, don't we? Yeah. yeah, Gary McCann and Dennis Bradley flew in from Ontario in warplanes, one of P-38 Lightning, and then a P-51, and Gary had a P-51, took me up and let me fly all over Florida, and I'd never flown one. Really? How did you find years. that? Knew what? How did you find that, the flying the P-51? Did you enjoy it? Oh, it was terrific. I, I was in the Naval Air Reserve for years, and I spent most of the time riding around in patrol bombers looking for submarines. <laughs> And I love a P-51. I couldn't fly it right side up, though it kept rolling up. <laughs> yeah, so, a lot of great people, though, and that's what it's about. So how did, so you started basically with lawn chairs and Canadians flying their aircraft down. Yeah, they flew in and sat in front of the airport restaurant over there, and we talked and visited and talked about, even talked one of them going back to Ontario, and he built a museum up there. Amazing. Met a lot of wonderful people. Even had a woman walk in here a few years ago and wrote me a check for a million dollars wanted me to build a memorial garden in the name of her husband. And where did my you wife had passed away and I wanted somewhere to put her ashes. And they wouldn't talk to me, so I built it in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You did. Yeah. And it's a beautiful garden. I remember yeah. um, yeah, we Mark, had You might have been there. up there when yes. there passed away and they scattered the warbirds even took her ashes up and scattered them for me. Oh, yeah. that was that was beautiful. That's beautiful, yeah. Mr. Henderson. Now, what do you think um, as you walk around the grounds? The actual, um, what do you think about where you were and where we are now? With wonderful, because I met all the wonderful people, and that's what it's about. The airplanes are just a common way to get here, okay. and the common interest. But even that lady standing right here flew into the first flying and back in 75 <laughs> one walking around crippled. she's been here a long time like her yeah, husband I, I, was an air force colonel when i met him and they flew in here to visit awesome met a lot of wonderful people mr henderson tell me a little bit you told me a little bit about being six years old um talk to me about some of your flying experiences well when i was six years old my dad knew a uh, always building little model airplanes and I was nuts about airplanes. He drove me, we lived out on the east side of Lakeland there and we drove all the way to Auburndale which is only about 10 miles over there. Right. And he used to have a grass runway alongside the highway on Highway 92 over there and it was just a little bit north and east of Winter Haven Gilbert Field now. Okay. And he stopped there and talked the guy into taking me flying in his biplane. That's where the memory started, and years later, Dean Tilton restored one, and he knew that I'd bought an airplane or two. I restored a 41 Chief and a couple of Pacers, Tri-Pacer and a Pacer. Okay. He begged me to come out and go fly his. He heard I rode in one when I was six years old, and he gave me the keys, and I took off and flew all over Polk County in his antique airplane. And He's still around. He's a great friend. Really, and you've been, you were just, you kept flying, so you were yeah. flying ever since? Yeah, and then we started the chapter when Paul and Audrey Poveredney was friends of mine, they came down and we started an EAA chapter here in Lakeland, 454. Okay, EAA 454. And, yeah, and we talked them into starting to fly in. Really? And they helped me. So we started on the north side and then the mayor of Lakeland was a friend of mine, the okay. first female mayor we had and the first city manager is the mayor. And she 
talked me into leasing land and moving over here where we had more room. She came out and helped clear the land. She was the president of the garden club. They'd come out and help me plant bushes and stuff. She's a wonderful lady. That's amazing. This, there is such a rich history. Now, I must ask you, because I'm interested with your history, do you have a, a favorite aircraft? Is there one that is near and dear to you for the any reason? fly. Well, okay, well, that's always good. Well, I, I've flown so many, and I love them all. I flew B-17s. I've flown both replicas of the Spirit of St. Louis. They called me and let me come you did. fly them. Yeah. So, I got to fly all kinds of unusual, beautiful Where did you fly those? Well, Mr. one of them came into Lakeland and let me take it and fly all over. Really? Yeah. It's kind of interesting because Lindbergh couldn't see straight out the front, you know. He didn't have a windshield. <laughs> you had to stick your head out the window to see where to land. <laughs> but I've had a great experience. I met a lot of wonderful people, and that's what I tell the new management here, remember. A convention's about people. Airplanes might be the common means of getting there and a common interest, but right. it's really about people. That 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 is awesome. Now let me ask you a question. Does your family I know your son obviously loves to fly and loves aviation and he was key in helping you build? Yeah. Son he used to live out here in the trailer. They said he let him park over here and we helped build the East Shower House and stuff, and he lived out here for 10 years right. and maintained the grounds for me. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Now, what about... Um, but he is a body man. He worked all his life, too, and he'd do that in his spare time. That, amazing. What about um, your family? Does your grandson, um, do you have uh, family members? Do they love aviation like you do? Did you pass it on? I think it, it pretty might much so. My other son, Wade... Arthur built airplanes and restored a couple and learned right. to fly years ago. And then my other boy's just now getting his license. The next few weeks he'll have his pilot's license and he's trying to buy an airplane. The oh, really? other boy restored two or three airplanes. He lived out here and he used to fly all the time. That's of course, they'd ride around with me and I'd let him fly mine. But right. So he finally got interested. He's getting up in years and he married a lady that's encouraged him to learn to fly and he's almost ready to solo. Well, now, she's she's a good woman, isn't she? Yeah. I but love But she it. found out the family history and talked him into taking flying lessons. And Patty Wagstaff, you've heard of. Uh, I, I, I might, yes, I know that name. <laughs> she was a great friend of mine. And She's living up in St. Augustine now, and that's where my son's sneaking and flying out of. So uh, he got to meet Patty. Have you seen her? Well, you, she is here today. She yeah, was, I was on air. Did you get to see her? I got to try to run her down. I want to tell her hi. Okay. Because I collect hugs and kisses. I she know always, you do. She always gives me one when she sees me, and I hadn't caught up to her yet, but I got to run her down today. That I is awesome. To. Now, a question for you. What is your next trip? Are you going to be able to? Are you uh, going to be able to make it to Air Venture this year? We're honored to have you here at the 42nd Annual Sun and Fun as the founder. Are you going to be able to make the trip to Oshkosh this year? I don't know, but the new president is here, and he's begging me to come up. In fact, he begged me this year, and he told him it was too expensive, and he called me up and gave me the devil and said, "If you'd have called me, I'd have sent you a plane ticket." <laughs> <laughs> I had a car waiting on in a golf cart, but I was 51 years at Oshkosh and helped build that place. That's amazing. Time flies when you're having fun. Absolutely, and and you are absolutely an inspiration, and I love. That's too bad. What, what happened? <laughs> what went wrong? I don't think anything. I don't think anything. <laughs> and it's such an honor to have you here. And. Thank it's you my pleasure. For your willingness. Do you know how few ladies will sit and visit with me? Well, Please. I would Am be I, I would be honored. I, it's such an honor to have you and to get to talk with you. Okay. And you know what? May I get another kiss? I've got to give you a kiss. Not collect Thank them. you. Oh, well, you've got another one from I the Florida ever, Aviation Network. I hardly ever kiss men. Well, that's okay. <laughs> you see that boy in the green shirt, Walker? I do. He built this building. And that is your son. And yeah. he was he is the one that actually built the airplanes, too, correct? He built a few airplanes and restored a few like I did, because I grew up playing with airplanes. Well, now, don't get me in trouble and tell him that I stole a kiss from you, okay? I'm going to tell the whole world. <laughs>
<laughs> I want it on live television. Well, can I tell you a secret? It is on live television. Oh, so, my God. In my, anyway, I tell you what, Mr. Henderson, it is an honor to have you oh, here. It's my and pleasure. Thank you for your service. And the new manager here, I told him, remember, it's about people. Airplanes are just a common interest. That's right. That's I learned right. to fly right over here in a pasture. That is By amazing. the strawberry patches over here. Charlie Miller taught me how to fly, yeah. and then I restored my first airplane, and he had me bring it over here and let him teach me how to fly. Awesome. Mr. Henderson, thank you so much. It is such an honor. It's my pleasure. And I am Lori Bradner with the Florida Aviation Network, speaking with the founder of uh, Sun and Fun, and stole a kiss even. Please come she see didn't us hurt next me. year. <laughs> Please come see us. We look forward to seeing you today at the 42nd Annual Sun and Fun right here in Lakeland, Florida. Oh, gosh, and then Obi Young was such an